Thank you for staying with us for the four on five. Some good stories today on WKRG.com. And Kimber Collins is at the digital alert desk to tell us why they are getting so much attention. Kimber is really excited about this one. Tell us about this Jelly Belly treasure hunt. The way it's being done kind of makes me think of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, Cherish, step aside Willy Wonka, because the man behind the name Jelly Belly is hosting a series of treasure hunts before he retires across the country. He's even giving away one of his candy factories. So golden necklaces will be hidden in every state. Thousands of dollars are up for grabs. But he says the main goal of this hunt is to get families out and about in their communities. Here's how the game works. You pay $50 to enter, and each game has 1,000 players. You're given a riddle full of clues, and then it's time to hunt. And you're searching for this, a golden necklace with a code to verify your find. There you go. You've won $5,000. Once all of the states have had a chance to play, the ultimate treasure hunt begins, which is for a key to one of his candy factories, an all-expenses-paid trip, and an education to a candy-making university. A shakeup in Southern Miss football after the South Alabama Jags beat the Golden Eagles last week in the season opener. Coach Jay Hobson has stepped down. The co offensive coordinator, Scotty Walden, is said to take over as the interim coach. The athletic director says Hobson approached him last week after the loss. Hobson has coached for Southern Miss for four years. Recall warning three types of dog food made by Sunshine Mills is being recalled due to a mold byproduct. Those brand names are Family Pet Meaty Cuts, Heartland Farms Grilled Favorites, and Paws Happy Life Butcher's Choice. Pet owners can return the unused food to the store they bought it from and receive a full refund. Debate today whether officers should have been called after a 12-year-old boy showed a fake gun during virtual classes. The boy was suspended for five days after he showed a black and green gun with an orange tip. The teacher, not knowing if it was real or fake, called the principal and sheriff deputies showed up to the boy's home. The boy's parents feel that they should have been notified before deputies showed up on their doorstep. The Labor Day weekend was filled with boat parades and a jubilee. Have you seen this video on social media yet? It was taken near the Fairhope Pier Monday morning. Dozens of people came out with their nets and gigs to collect all of the fish. And this only happens in two parts of the world, Japan and right here in Mobile Bay. The phenomenon lasted for about 45 minutes. Those are today's online headlines. At the Digital Alert Desk, I'm Kimber Collins, WKRG News 5.